Hello Capricorn and welcome in to your general love reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I hope you all are doing well, my loves. Sit back, relax, take a chance. Y'all can smash that like button or leave a comment down below. Just don't forget to make sure that you and your little monkey butt are subscribed to the channel. Oh my goodness, for more content and for more of me. It seems like somebody's going to take a chance here. Capricorn. Someone's going to take a chance here. You have the energy of passion, insane chemistry, like each other, equally having fun. You have the energy of hands of car, hand of cards, take a chance or risk, be strategic options, not showing some, not showing their hand or gambling. Somebody's keeping something to themselves. They're getting ready to act on something. They want to take a chance on something and they feel this way about you. <clears throat> um, you're getting ready to find this out with the dragonfly. It states, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. Whatever this, this person's getting ready to tell you, this is something that they've been needing to tell you, wanting to tell you for um, a long time. I do feel like this person has gone through a healing phase. Bottom of the deck is the mirror. Mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds and introspection with love. It's It's almost as if... The work this person has done, Capricorn, the work this person has done on their themselves, the self-love, the healing, all of that, it's putting them in a position to want to act, right? They want to act on this. They want to say something. And I don't really feel like you're expecting whatever this is. I don't, I don't feel like you are expecting this particular person to say whatever this is or you're not expecting them to come forward with a particular energy yeah you guys have the emperor coming flying out here aries energy so you have divine masculine masculine energy doesn't mean that it is a male but this person is for sure you know and they mean business with the chariot and the six of cups i am going to say that this person is wanting to come forward um, and tell you that they feel like you and them are soulmates. You and them have this sen sense of a soul tie. They they have this sense of love for you, right? This person is just wanting to, to speak, wanting to come out. There is this sense of wanting to create stability or have a stable connection. There's going to be information exchanged between the two of you, Capricorn. Information exchanged between the two of you, okay? Seven of Swords, information being exchanged that they have not yet exposed to you. This person has been holding back. You have Aquarius and uh, with the moon. So it's like this person has been wishing for you, hoping for you, praying to the stars about you. Look at this, the lovers, but they haven't been saying anything. This person's been holding back the fact that they have a lot of love for you here, Capricorn. They've been holding that back. And this move that this person is getting ready to make is going to bring justice into the situation. It's all in how uh, the response is, right? It's all in the response. So we do have the Seven of Wands here. So you do have uh, Mars and Leo energy Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then Libra here. There is this defense mechanism that is up with the Seven of Wands. I do feel like there is a need to um, kind of let your let your guard down a little bit here, Capricorn, and allow this to allow this to come in. I do feel like this is a part of something that you have manifested, right? You've you're a very creative soul. You have so much power um, up under you right now. And I feel like this is something that you've bought into your life because of what you're looking for, because of what you want. You're looking for that 10 of cups, right? You're looking for um, that ultimate, ultimate love here. Tell us about this emperor. Tell us about the emperor for Capricorn. Tell us more about this emperor energy tower four pentacles yeah this person is exposing they're exposing what they've been fighting <laughs> this person's been holding a lot freaking back four of pentacles energy capricorn energy they've been holding a lot back possibly because they've been dealing with a lot in their own personal life they've been dealing with a lot in their career and it's finally like okay this person's saying f it i'm just gonna come forward and i'm gonna say something and they're coming out swinging right this person is coming out a swinging 
you have scorpionic energy there mars energy here five of wands there's a lot of mars energy so what i'm going to say with that is there's a lot of tension and to be honest with you i feel like there's a lot of sexual tension that's going on especially if you and this person have not yet uh been connected with one another i do feel like there is a lot of tension and there's just a lot of buildup that this person is feeling right now tell us about the seven of swords here for capricorn yeah, I do feel like this person has been dealing with a lot um, as far as their job may be concerned, work is concerned, that Three of Pentacles is still showing up here at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, this is collaborative energy, um, but Capricorn energy and Capricorn is the goat talking about public life, talking about your career, talking about your finances. Um, so with the eight of pentacles coming out here as well, it's almost as if this person was strategizing, working on some sort of plan, um, putting in that work, putting in that effort in order to come forward to say something. You've been on this person's mind a lot with that four of swords energy, but with justice, again, it's, there's an equal opposite, you know, action reaction type of thing that's going to be going on here the four of swords with the seven of swords leads to the three of swords there could have been some sort of <clears throat> third party situation that this person was dealing with or trying to strategize around but i do feel there's some sort of strategy or plan that's being put in place here. This person's working on some sort of strategy, some sort of plan. It's almost as if they're co-creating here with Spirit, Three of Pentacles, High Priestess, Eight of Wands, co-creating with Spirit, higher level of commitment type energy. Tell us about this lover's energy. This is a choice, right? This person is, is making some sort of choice or decision, but again... There's something that's hidden or something that this person is strategizing. Tell us about the lovers here, please. The King of Cups. Yeah, there is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini, and Energy, Libra, and Scorpio. I do, again, there is a lot of love. This person has a lot of emotion, a lot of feelings for you here. This person is consistently thinking about you. You are always on this person's mind. Um... You know, this person has this physical, physicality. Yeah, a four of cups. This is somebody that thinks about you. Oh my God, you have the lovers clarifying the lovers. This is somebody that thinks about you a lot, Capricorn. You are always on my mind. You're always on this person's mind. Like you are all like this person thinks about you consistently, even if they don't talk, even if they don't communicate. I do feel like this person um, has a lot of deep emotional feelings. The four of cups, four of swords. Again, there is contemplation. There is um, this headspace energy, especially with the moon, the hermit, ten of pentacles. You have this person in their head. Like, you have this person thinking about forever. You have this person thinking about the long term. You have this person thinking about ten of pentacles. And they're trying to process or strategize something here. Wanting to come forward, take a risk, take a leap of faith towards this energy, towards you. I, I feel very deeply that this person, you know, they're thinking about, again, they, they can sense that there is this opportunity here, but this, there's this review, there's this reflection, this person's going back over again, it's having a lot to do with the strategizing energy. This person's in their head a lot, especially about you, especially about this situation. There is a lot of love. This person is wanting to communicate this with you. You may be actually picking up on telepathic communication with this person. But there, again, this moon, hermit, ten of pentacles, there's a lot of introspection and deep contemplation trying to find the clarity that they need on what they truly feel. 
and they're trying to understand why they feel this way right and then what they're going to do to proceed forward here so let's see what does spirit have to say about this situation what does spirit have to say about the situation please hold the space wow so druid is asking the collective that is here to hold the space for this person um you know trust it's a spirit foxes trust your talents in uh changing times and love and let yourself be loved so during this time allow yourself to hold space for this person for this energy for this passion especially if you're feeling drawn or called to do so right not everybody <clears throat> excuse me not everybody is going to feel um drawn to hold space for this person but if you do and especially if this is somebody that you're currently in a connection with and you're just wondering why there's silence you know why this person you know what's going on in this person's head they're strategizing this person is doing a lot of strategizing they got a lot of figuring figuring out that they're doing here you know hold the space for this individual look at this unexpected proposal exactly this person is, is doing a lot of contemplation here legal matters at the bottom of the deck justice is coming up quite frequently here especially you have justice bottom of the deck justice that came out in the spread and then legal matters so i would not be surprised that this person is actually uh thinking about marriage thinking about serious commitment or even just dealing with legal issues um and they're trying to kind of clarify and clear things up <clears throat> before this happens but a lot of this is about the balance that's getting ready to come into life and this is the truth that's getting ready to be spoken this person is really strategizing planning on how they're going to act because that action is going to create a reaction which is hopefully going to bring this karma or justice or balance into one's life right this is the judgment uh it's also stage judgment on there but this unexpected proposal surprise unpredictable shocking unusual and then a love offer engagement agreement or a wish come true i'm telling you this person is contemplating they're in their head they've got a lot that they're mushing together and they're just trying to figure it out that's why spirit and the jurid is asking you to hold space for this person right so let's get a couple more messages <clears throat> you were always on my mind You were always on my mind. And it's almost as if this person wants to make like a, a huge offer in love here. Like this person's not trying to play new games. They're just like, this is going to be a shocking, 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 shocking proposal. Deception. Yeah. Things are not as they seem. Watch out for dishonesty. This deception card, um, is going right along with hold the space and i'm going to tell you why it's because there's more to the picture than what you're understanding there's more to the situation than what you're actually privy to right now so it could seem very deceptive in quality in in the manner in which this person is working because you don't have the clarity on the situation seven of swords there's a lot that this person again is keeping from you but remember do you tell people everything that you're doing, right? And it can see like you're hiding things and you're being deceptive, but it's just not the time. Look at this. You have soulmate and you have new love. Didn't I say that? Things are just not as they seem. A potential connection awaits and a connection from your past life has emerged. Embrace the connection. Wow. Capricorn, this was a beautiful freaking reading. I'm going to leave this here. I hope you guys found this insightful. Please smash that like button or you guys can also leave a comment down below. Either way, I appreciate your support. I love you all so, so much. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I will speak to you guys in the next video.